Hey everyone, it's Jack from whatculture.com. Now, as you may have seen, I lost the last challenge to Adam Blompier, and the forfeit was to read some delicious fan fiction as written by Adam Blompier himself. Now, some of you out there might have been fortunate enough to already have read some What Culture fan fiction. If not, head to at SR Backwards Twitter because she's got some, she's got some great work. Uh, but as we all know, Adam Blompier loves to go over the top. And I've not read this yet, so it's all completely a surprise. And without further ado, let's I'll just have a drink first, actually. I'm going to do my buttons. I don't want to do this. So without any further ado, this time, let's read some fan fiction from the wicked mind of Mr. Adam Blompier. Cheers. Oh. Oh, I needed that. Now, I don't know if it's got a title, it's just called Fan Fiction, a charming cover. They say you can't judge a book by its cover, but I think I definitely can in this instance. Uh, right. Jack the Jobber, that's me. Jack the Jobber walked into the What Culture office carrying, carrying his Roman Reigns lunchbox and excited to see all of his best friends, at least the ones who didn't kick him repeatedly in the head. But the office was, the office was empty. There was, only, there was only King Ross sat there polishing his royal scepter with a smooth circular motion. He had a strong wrist and a big kind face. Oh, God. What's going on? asked Jack, his pocket full of dreams and his mouth full of baby teeth. I sent them all home, my lad, said King Ross, before patting his knee. King Ross was Jack's best friend in the whole wide world, so he trotted over, trotted over, and sat on his lap. Your hair smells good, muttered King Ross, almost to himself. Thanks, replied Jack. It's Johnson Baby Shampoo. No more tears. Am I a good king? asked Ross, his voice not much more than a whisper now. Yes, yeah, said Jack, like a precious little lamb. The best in all the universe. Ross, be Ross began to stroke Jack's clean hair. It was comforting to Jack, and he leant his head on Ross's shoulder. He sniffed. Just one sentence, that one, just he sniffed, because for all of Blombier's faults, he doesn't know how to mix his sentence length, which I, you know, I appreciate. The king smelled like freshly cooked sausage rolls and Nan's old carpets. He could fall asleep here, he thought. <laughs> Ross kissed him lightly. It's started now, we've started. Ross kissed him lightly on the neck, just brushing his lips against Jack's skin. It tickled slightly, and Jack, and Jack let out a wee giggle. Would you, whispered Ross, his voice pregnant with desire, would you like me to WTF you? Sorry. Jack was a little bit nervous. He's right there. Like he's right there. I am a little bit nervous. Jack was a little bit nervous, a little bit afraid, his heart beating like a tiny rabbit's. His fears got the best of him, and he began to cry. No, said Ross, wiping his eyes. No more tears. I mean, I see what he's done. Like, I see what he's done. It's very clever. Ross and... Oh, wow. Ross entered Jack softly at first, like someone trying on a shoe for the first time and not wanting to crease the sides. Jack felt nervous and happy because Ross was his best friend and here he was, here he was up to his guts, easing his royal member in and out. They found a comfortable rhythm, moving together like waves crashing onto a beach, except Jack was the beach and Ross's big dick was the waves. What is this? What is this? Why have I... No, he said he was going to keep it all right, but he's not. Okay. 
Ross began singing Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, Jack's favourite song. But I keep cruising, he whispered urgently in Jack's ear. Can't stop, won't stop moving. He was thrusting harder now. It's like I've got this music, sang Jack, giddy with happiness. In my mind saying it's going to be all right. Th then in walked Roman Reigns. Then in walked Roman Reigns. He was wearing his ring gear and his hair was wet despite it not having rained since Monday. He, he was Jack's favourite wrestler. And the little lad's heart almost popped when King Ross beckoned him over. Help me out here, like, he asked Roman. Ross doesn't talk like that. None of us talk like that up here. Adam still hasn't quite grasped the concept of a Geordie accent, but help me out here, like, he asked Roman. Roman ran one of his big hands through his slick jungle of wet hair, smiled and said, player's going to play, 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 believe that, before kissing Jack with his mouth wide open. He thrust his tongue deep into Jack's hungry gob and with the jobber latched on his lips like a winkle, he shouted, ooh-ah, into Jack's mouth. I'm pleased to report that we're nearly done, by the way, and I can't say much more. In fact... Oh, uh, <clears throat> yeah. It's not helping, but... Uh. Ross started singing. Ross is singing now. Roman's already sang. Ross has sang. I've, we've all sang. Ross started singing God Save Our King at the top of his voice, while the thrusting intensified. Roman Superman kissed Jack. Superman kissed. Harder and harder. Jack could feel a little fire start to build down below. The fire got bigger and bigger and hotter and hotter until Jack shouted yippee in all capitals and erupted like a volcano. All over Roman Reigns, who then had to go catch his flight to America to appear on Monday Night Raw on the USA Network. Jack lay back, panting, empty, and totally happy. Ross smiled at him and tussled his hair. Yes, thought Jack, this is the best birthday ever. So that concludes Adam Blombier's first foray into the world of fan fiction. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly f haven't. I've been Jack from whatculture.com and I'll see you soon.